So today I just found out that a bit of phase three coronavirus had we were introduced reintroduced um, by tomorrow midnight. Today, as I'm speaking, is the twentieth of June, and they're going to introduce twenty first on midnight about the amount of people allowed to come gather in the household, no more than five people. Now, the reason behind of having all this is because of um, um, the Victorians that last week that rocked up to Black Lives Matter protests. And now it's gone to the stage where, where now we're, we're reintroducing back in this lifestyle. Now, you know what's the funny thing about this coronavirus is that when it comes to the lefty or the socialist, they never come out and they're scared shitless. The news media has changed dramatically to COVID-19. But ever since Black Lives Matter uh, in America, and what has introduced to around the world, out of the sudden they're not afraid of death and start marching and marching and marching and fighting for their rights. I'm actually really surprised during the COVID-19 they never come out in protest saying that this is freedom while you're locking us in. But now they do not care. They'll go as much protest if they have to. My question is this. With this Antifa and the socialists, the more they engage with this protest, the more high spike numbers of coronavirus you know, even if Victoria's only like 18, just jumped in a month, it's not that much, but for a government to reintroduce it, it's just a bit too extreme. But with these guys who protest, they don't care about business people. They don't care about the society. They want the society to crumble. I'm not sure in what stage or would there be any percentage for Australia to get into looting um, where right now statues are trying to be vandalized and trying to to be destroyed. This is, should be a socialist dream at this moment. Just go out, just march and make the economy even worse and worse and worse. But I'm not sure would they still on, um, keep on going with the protests because that will achieve their dream. Well, big businesses and small businesses are struggling day by day.